it has been said that some of the presidential aspirants of the All Progressive Congress APC have been compelled to pick up the nomination form. If this is true, it means that APC is being undemocratic in its affairs. This will bring us to the school of thought that sees democracy as government of the people, for the people and by the people, meaning government should be there for the people and by no means should an individual be coerced against his will. In a democratic system of government, there is a fair hearing and the total practice of one's fundamental human rights. However, in Nigeria today, reverse is the case. A look at Section 87 of the Electoral Act outlines the procedure for nomination of candidates for election by political parties. This provision includes that political parties wishing to participate in election must hold primaries to nominate their candidates. Primaries could be direct, where party members nominate candidates directly, or indirect, where delegates nominate party candidates. For indirect primaries, parties must adopt the procedure outlined in the Act. Procedure for presidential primaries. The party must hold a special presidential convention where delegates shall vote for each aspirant and the aspirants with the highest number of votes at the end of voting shall be declared the winner of the primaries and his or her name sent to INEC as the party candidate. The question is, is this outlined by Nigeria's Electoral Act being practiced? Over the years, we've seen instances where political candidates are being forced to take up office and it makes me wonder if this should be a do or die affair. APC presidential aspirants as of Friday have risen to a total of 25. What could be the cost of this? We will know as the day unfolds. Meanwhile, in a recent news, former President Goodluck Jonathan who willingly succumbed to defeat during the 2015 presidential election in spite of the controversies surrounding the result has rejected the nomination form bought on his behalf by supporters group under the name Fulani Group. According to his spokesman, the former president was unaware of such intentions. He said, I quote, Good luck Jonathan was not aware of this bid and did not authorize it. We want to state that if the former president wanted to contest an election, he would make his intentions clear to the public and will not enter through the back door. This counters the statement made by the presidential aide, Bashar Ahmad, that Jonathan has defected to APC and bought a nomination form worth 100 million naira. Should we come to the conclusion that there is a big contention for the presidential seat? within the All Progressive Congress APC, or is it just a normal expression of intent by party members?